wonderful song. Yes, we can do Eleanor Rigby. But it was a wonderful period when Eleanor Rigby was done um, because it was at a period of time when bands were experimenting with their music, with their lifestyles, and, and with hotel rooms. Bands experimented quite tremendously with uh, rearranging them was the expression that was used. There's two classic stories about hotel rooms. One was the, uh, <coughs> the one in, 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 when we were in Yes back in 1972. We, we did a tour and we were playing in Newcastle. And there wasn't a hotel in Newcastle that would have us. Wouldn't have any rock bands at all. So you used to have to go across the bridge and stay in Gateshead. And the only hotel you could stay at was the Four Seasons, which was a seven-story hotel. And they always used to put the bands on the seventh floor because they were out of everybody's way. And we arrived there and were ready to check in. We said, hello, yes, band. I went, OK, that's uh, Wakeman room 612, Anderson room 613. And I said, hold on a minute, we should be on the seventh floor. And he said, uh, no. He said, the Who were here last week. So oh. he said, we haven't got a seventh floor. <laughs> Absolutely true. Right? But the, the classic story of all time was Led Zeppelin in America. There's a hotel called the uh, Edgewater Inn in Seattle. It's right by the river, which, of course, is a band's delight because, I mean, it, you can regularly see the furniture and rooms floating up the river. It's like great fun. And so they banned groups for a long time. And Zeppelin were there, and their manager is a fantastic guy called Peter Grant. And Peter always used to carry big, thick wads of money to pay things out. And when Zeppelin checked out the hotel, one morning, uh, Peter Grant's pan in it. He said, uh, okay, how much do I owe And they said, uh, well, it's uh, like $1,500 for all the rooms and things, and it's uh, $2,800 for John Bonham's damage to his room. And Grant, he went, oh, yeah, all right then. And paid all the money out. The guy said, it's all right for you, isn't it? He said, you can just vent your anger. You can vent your feelings out on, on a room, and then you just, just pay it off. It's no problem to you. He said, but for somebody like me who has to work in this Kazi, he said, I have all my feelings pent up inside. He said, oh, you make me sick, you lot. And Peter Grant said, well, how much does it cost to completely destroy a room here then? He said, it's about $4,000. Peter said, all right, hold on. <laughs> he said, there you go, I have a room on us. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely true, that is. So you can think about that. Well, 